Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to Language Grinder. Today we're going to learn how to use this wonderful free program called Audacity. Uh, this is an audio editing program, but it is very, very useful for language learning. Um, mostly for editing your own files from your learning materials like you know when you get a buy a book or you you know download off the internet on a, you know a pod whatever cast and uh, you get your audio and I highly recommend you bring it in here you know and uh, edit it you make an edited version you can keep your original version and you make an edited version to extract and condense the dialogue inside of the file and the reason why we do this is because you want to listen to the dialogue as many times as possible so that it sticks and um, this file here is six minutes and 45 seconds so if you want to hear the dialogue in here you got to kind of find it and then listen to it. I mean, you can fast forward wherever, but like essentially you're spending six minutes to listen to a dialogue once, which is not efficient. So we gotta come in here and make some adjustments. So this program is the best program you can use to do that because it's free, it's freeware. Very nice of them to give it away to us for free. And uh, thank you for that, makers of this program. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. Let's uh, hear a bit of the audio first to see like what we got. Unit four. Beer de mo Shall we have a beer or something? Listen and practice. Is there a good place somewhere? Doko ka ii tokoro ga arimasu ka? All right, this is one thing with the Teach Yourself series that, I mean, I guess it's, it's helpful to some people, but they make this whole beginning where they just say you know you, you can actually just look at the you know the audio here you can see that that's just them saying something in English and then translating it to Japanese or the other way around just to kind of teach you what the word says but I mean the first time I listen to an audio I don't want to know what I'm hearing I like it's part of the learning process is to hear it not knowing what it means or what's being said and then kind of thinking about it, you know, like kind of if you know any words inside the dialogue, you're thinking about those words and then trying to think in the context. So like when they just right off the bat say, okay, this means that, you know, and they're getting to repeat it. I think it's not helpful. It's not the learning style that I, that I follow. So I just delete all that and uh, continue on. I kind of just left the unit four in, or unit eight or whatever it was in there just to kind of if I'm flipping through it though, looking at the screen, I can kind of know which unit I'm on. But let's let's give it a listen again. Unit four. Yes, please. Hi, onegaishimasu. Right, you know, I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to delete what she said because I don't think you need her to say the English there. And this space here, we're going to just delete all that because like we don't need dead air. It's a waste of time. Hi, onegaishimasu. Here's the dialogue. At the end of a busy negotiating session, Tom suggests to his business associate, Mr. Suzuki, that they go for a drink. After being greeted by the proprietor... Okay, again, all that is stuff we don't need. So, just going to delete all that. We don't need her to, to, to tell us what is going to be said in the dialogue. We're going to try to figure it out for ourselves, like you would in any situation. I mean, yeah. Sa. So ビールでも飲みましょうか。うん、飲みましょう。どこかいいところがありますか。え、近くにとてもいい飲み屋があります。じゃあ。Okay. Now we have the dialogue here, which is great, but there's still one thing that I don't like, and that's all of this space. Why does nobody pauses like that between? words so we're gonna delete all that i know maybe the creators of this teach yourself thought you know let's let's put a little pause between each sentence so that the 
the reader can sit there and think about what was just said, or they can maybe try to answer for themselves the question that the person's asking. I don't know what this sound is. But to me, that's just wasted time. Because if you really need a pause between each sentence, you can just keep your finger on the pause button and you can decide when you want to hear the pause. All right, I think this sound effect, we don't need all of it. We can just leave that much. Just going through here, it's it's great because you don't even have to look, you don't have to like listen to it. You can just take out all of this, these little lines. And you're going to get left with a condensed dialogue. Let's see where we are here. Kiruma wa kaisha de hataraku. All right. So I think that's, he says that near the end. We're going to keep on going. Only takes a couple of minutes. Let's go a bit quicker. I may make a little mistake, clip a little bit too close. Kondo wa itsumade Tokyo ni imasu ka? All right. He's asking him how long he's going to be in Tokyo. So I think that's near the end. He gets his phone number. They decide to meet up again or something like that. And sorry. All right, let's hope this is the end. Here's some practice. OK, so that's the end of the dialogue. She just says some practice material here. Anyways, going back here, let's just listen in halfway through. ビールをください。僕もビールだ。わかりました。はい、どうぞ。乾杯。毎晩ここで飲みますか？いいえ、そんな時間はありませんよ。Okay, so you see that the dialogue is much more compressed now. Uh, we took out a lot, a lot of time in spaces in between. I know it doesn't seem like much. It's actually a lot, especially when you're listening to it over and over. You're saving yourself tons of time just by spending a few minutes to cut out all of this garbage in between. And go through the whole file. I mean, um, oh, I think that's it. It looks like that's it. Yeah, so there's no more dialogue. The rest is just her kind of talking, getting you to repeat words that were in the dialogue, which we don't need. And if you really want to listen to it, you can just save both copies, have one dialogue and one, um, you have one dialogue and one with the whole file. Okay, so we reduced this file from six, what was it, almost seven minutes to just over one minute. I mean, so it's like uh, almost a sixth of what size it was. So that means that for every time that you could listen to that original one once, you can listen to this six times, which means that you hear it six times more than you would. I mean, it's obviously much better, right? And it doesn't even sound that horrible. I mean, it does sound a little bit awkward because, like, we're missing... You know some of the sound effects and whatever that might be in daily in the scene but I mean you don't really need that we're just trying to learn the language so then you can just go file and uh, just save it put it onto your mp3 player or wherever you want and listen to it over and over and read the dialogue over and over make sure you understand every sentence by listening you can try using other methods like um, shadowing where you try to guess, try to say the sentence as it's coming, which is way better with this method because you don't have to wait through all that dialogue, wait through all that, I mean, that British lady talking about what's happening. You can just get right to the the meaty bits, the, uh, the dialogue. And um, I mean... Especially after you've kind of, when you know, when you finished a book, like you finished uh, Teach Yourself Japanese, the, the first book, I, I would just save all these files and put them onto my, you know, MP3 player. And I have a whole folder 
you know, for instance, like for Russian, when I was learning Russian, I did it all with all the Russian dialogues, and it's only about like 15 minutes of all the dialogues if you condense it like this. And you can just go back and review it just by like listening to it once, like 15 minutes, listen to it again, and you review all of those dialogues just like super quickly. You don't even have to go through and listen to all that, her explaining each sentence all over again. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it's very, very helpful. And um, I guess I should cut it short now. It's already 10 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope that this can help you in some way. If it, if you think it is helpful and that you did learn something here, please um, subscribe. If you want to see more, uh, like my video. If you like it and uh, share it if you want on your social media if your friends you think could uh, benefit from this kind of video i would appreciate that and uh, yeah thank you very much for viewing and uh, have a good day bye bye